What I want to do in this video is I want to give you some practice with the muscles. So what I've done here, go ahead and show this setup. What I've done is I've set up a few cats and we're going to go through them. They're pinned. I want to go through and let's just, how would you walk up to a station and figure out what the cat, what, the, what muscle it is? So what have I got this going on here for? What I want to show you here, what muscle is this? We have, we have no idea, right? So what you need to do is you need to, to keep in mind that you have the whole cat. So use the whole cat. Students tend to focus on what, what, what's being pinned, and they, if they don't know it, they freak out. So look at what's around it, okay? Identify the muscle next to the muscle that's pinned. That could help you learn or help you uh, check, make sure that one's right. Learn the muscles in order. In, if, in different sets if that works. So what is this one? That's our Xiphi humoralis, right? If it really is a Xiphi humoralis, there should be nothing after it, which there isn't. So we feel pretty good about this one. What about over here? Here we have the sartorius. You can see that it's where it's supposed to be. It's uh, the most superficial muscle, okay? Makes sense that it's sartorius. What about right here? What's this one? This one's our gracilis, isn't it? What about this one? That one's a tough one to see because it's kind of covered up. But it's the very bottom one in this series of uh, leg muscles. So what's this one? That's our semitendinosus, yep. OK, um, on this side of the cat, we have this. So this is one of those deals where you definitely want to make sure you read the directions. The directions say identify this connective tissue. So what would that be? That's going to be your fascia lata, not the tensor fascia lata. If it, said, if it had said name this muscle, it would have been the tensor fascia lata. Okay, good. Let's move on over here. Okay, we've come to a new station. So we've got a bunch of muscles down in here. So first one, go ahead and get in there a little bit so you can see it. What's number two right here? Well, that's a muscle that's running with the axis of the body, isn't it? Right there um, at the leg. So what's that? That's our iliopsoas, isn't it? What about this one right here, number five? Well, the directions say name this muscle. And so you see that we've got this connective tissue on it. That is our tensor fascia lata muscle. What about this number six right here? Well, when it comes to the legs, the lower legs, what you need to do is you need to follow these muscles down to the, the foot. So this particular one is going straight down on the front of the foot. That is the tibialis or the um, anterior tibialis, right? Okay, moving up over here. Number three, what's number three? That's the serratus ventralis, isn't it? Makes sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, what about number one? What's number one right there? That has got to be the long head of the tricep brachii. Number four is a superficial muscle, and it's kind of hard to tell what we're looking at, but we're looking at a superficial muscle that appears to be going out across the arm. And so our best bet there is going to be the pecto antebrachialis. Okay, let's move on. These are pretty good ones. So we'll start with 27 right here. What's 27 pointing to? Well, it looks like it's pointing to this this muscle that's on the anterior side of the arm. So that would be the clavodeltoid, wouldn't it? You can kind of see the pecto antebrachialis, which is running right uh, posterior to it, right there. This muscle is reflexed back out of the way, but it would normally cover up like that. So what's number 30 right there? Say it. Oh, epitrochlearis. Okay, good. What about this one right here? 
Number 29. What's 29? Well, that's going to be your biceps brachii. Okay. And then 28 right here, which we've so nicely put a probe under, that's going to be your medial head of the triceps brachii. Remember, the brachialis is on the lateral side. Just memorize that as part of your description. Brachialis is on the lateral side. Okay, 31 again. I guess we have a redundancy. That's the long head of the triceps brachii again. All right, now let's go over to this last cat. So this is a tough one, we've got some abdominal muscles. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to orient yourself. So when I come up to this station, I see a bunch of pins and I might get a little bit overwhelmed, but look at these muscles here that are laying back. So those are out of the way, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So what are these muscles? External, external oblique. That's your external abdominal oblique. So that's going to help me orient myself. So the external abdominal obliques are out of the way. So what is deep to them? internal abdominal oblique, number 25. What's deep to the internal abdominal oblique? Transverse. Transverse abdominus, number 34. Okay. And then 49 right here looks like it's running with the axis of the body. What's that one going to be? Rectus abdominus. That's our rectus abdominus, yep. Now let me change 49 for you real quick. And I'm going to put it right there. Now what the heck could that be? I have no idea. So what am I going to do? I'm going to read the question. And the question says, name this connective tissue. So what is it? Linea alba. It's the linea alba. Even though I can't really see the linea alba all too well, it's the only thing it can be in that area. Okay, coming down here. What's number 48? Uh, well, let's say I don't know it. Let's say I completely don't know it. What do I do? I say, okay, what's this one? This one's the rectus, or the, um, yeah, rectus abdominis. Wait a minute, no, no. Rectus femoris. Adductor femoris. This is our adductor femoris. What's this one down here? Semitendinosis. That's our semitendinosis. So this is a good one. If you learned it in order, if you know the muscle next to it, you may be able to squeeze out that this is the semimembranosis. Okay, so if you don't know a muscle, name the muscle next to it. If you do know a muscle, name the muscle next to it to check yourself. Okay, here's another one, and I think that's a, another um, duplicate, so we'll put it over here. So what is this big muscle right here? Gastrocnemius. That's the gastrocnemius, isn't it? And the check for that is to make sure that it's connected to the tendocalcaneus down there. Okay, so hopefully that gave you a little bit of practice with the cat muscles. Uh -huh.